Happy Friday, internet person. Uh, welcome to Chili Chat. We got something pretty exciting today. I uh, missed you guys Wednesday and I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna make it up to you with a little bit of a one chip challenge. This is the 2020 edition and uh, there's, there's no shortage of videos on the internet of people eating this, I'll, I'll grant you that. But um, we're gonna give it the treatment. We're gonna go ahead and do a proper product review of the one chip challenge. It's $7.95 should you buy it. Uh, Cause I already know it's gonna be stupid hot. So it's kind of just a, a bonus, but we're, we're going to scientifically try to understand if this is worth your money on Chili John. Okay, so um, you know, let's 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 relish and and fully appreciate this unboxing experience uh, with the 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 handy help of little Johnny Five. <laughs> I've come to name my little weird camera on a stick. All right, so what do we have? We have a box and it's got some pretty cool art. I gotta say, Pocky's branding is pretty sweet. Um, I like the red, it's really nice. Um, skulls, I'm not opposed to skulls when they're done in an artistic and beautiful fashion. This is just gorgeous. What a great package, I love it. If you flip it over, we got a little bit of a warning. Don't eat if you're sensitive to spicy foods, no crap. Allergic to peppers, nightshades, or capsaicin. You're pregnant, medical conditions keep out of reach of children, but after touching the chip, wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive area. Area, seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. This reaper shows no mercy. All right, you're very scary, we get it. And so we got a little bit of ingredients list. Uh, it's blurring out on me, there we go. So I don't think you can read it, so I'm just gonna read it to you. We got blue corn, sunflower, and or safflower oil, Carolina reaper pepper, scorpion chili pepper, sea salt, activated charcoal, chipotle pepper, Szechuan powder, or Szechuan pepper, and Szechuan pepper extract. Ooh. Okay, that last one kind of makes me a little nervous. Szechuan pepper extract. So I'm not gonna be able to talk because my whole face is gonna be numb. So yeah, let's uh, give it a little bit of a cut with the uh, glorious Pioneer Woman knife. I highly recommend Pioneer Woman knives. They're fantastic for things that are kind of low impact, like unboxing. All right, so we're gonna... All right, so we got a little bit of a, we got a chip which is expected. We've got a, whoa. <laughs> I'll show this all on camera, but this is pretty cool. It's a one chip champ and a little bit of marketing. How long can you, oh, here we go. How, hold on. How long can you last before throwing in the towel, eating or drinking anything? An hour. Is it gonna be hot in an hour? Okay, that's, that's deeply scary. All right, so we've got a pretty cool little pamphlet. I like that. And we've got, just another one. <laughs> Maybe they grabbed two out the stack by accident. And then we've got a little, uh, do you dare, oh, this is, man, Pocky does such a good job of this. Do you dare go head to head with the Reaper? Eat the entire chip, wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. Post your reaction on social media with one chip challenge hashtag and mention at Pocky Chips. Any last words? Um, plenty. <laughs> but I'll speak them on the way down. All right, so. Got a little chip. I, I, I thought maybe it would probably be more uh, appropriate to open this part on camera because I want nobody calling me a cheater. Um, yeah, so we're just opening into the, oh. Okay, opening, you're supposed to wear a mask when you handle peppers, right? Is that it? Or is it, I think it was something else, I'm sorry. Um, all right, so what I've got is Actually, uh, bring Johnny Five over here for a second. Uh, I've got bits of chip that used to constitute one chip, I think. And uh, there. Yeah, that's all I've got. I've got some dust, but I, I'm not gonna eat the freaking pepper dust. So we've got what amounts to a one chip challenge here. Uh, see, it's covered in activated charcoal to make it black and scary. Um, and it's kind of cool looking if I'm being honest and we got, I mean, you can't really see anything. It's got like, it almost looks like lava rock. Like it's got these little flecks. I think it's the sea salt that reflect the light and kind of glisten and it makes it look like lava rock. That's pretty crazy looking actually for a, like a, you know, a food that you would eat. All right. So I have to wait, buddy. Uh, the bits. The uh, broken up union of one chip has now become four chip nations that will all go together in the same apocalypse. <sighs> I 
that smells hateful. Like, okay, it doesn't smell like it's going to taste bad, but it doesn't smell like food. Like it smells, it smells nuts. This smells extremely hot. And like a very strange, I guess it's the peppercorns. It's a very strange kind of heat that I'm not really familiar with. Um, or, you know, aroma. I guess it's the Szechuan peppercorns. I don't know too much. I haven't had too much experience with them really. Man, all right, I'm genuine. I'm genuinely a feared now. I really wasn't, but I'm kind of scared now. So I've got a little timer. We're gonna have it to where the light doesn't. There we go, to where you can see it, just to see how long this process will take for me to actually die. Um, cheers. I want to have a quick little sip of my Modelo before uh, this all ends. All right, and uh, yeah, and at the very end, I actually have another secret beer, which is oh dang it. Uh, I'll go grab it after, but I have a, a secret beer for relief that I thought would be funny to share with you. So I'll grab that in a minute. Oh no, I better grab it now. No, I guess I'm gonna have to go without it. Oh man, I had a good joke for the camera, but I don't want to go off camera with this chip. So never mind. We're gonna skip the beer. Maybe we'll cut it in at the end after I've already died. Uh, I'm gonna stop stalling now. I apologize. I'm genuinely scared. Cheers, YouTube. <laughs> this is this is this is for y'all. <laughs> this is what this is for her. It tastes pretty terrible. <laughs> There's a, they, they usually, the last one didn't taste that bad. It's blooming. <laughs> okay, so, it's definitely a reaper burn, but the scorpion's there too, because it's, oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was a truly foul tasting chip. Oh man, that's bad. It tastes of chemical. Um, I guess it's, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's all, I see, the ingredients don't have no chemicals in there. <clears throat> I think it may be just the very high concentration of peppers. Come on. Hey. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very, very hot. Um, it's like kind of hard to pin it down because it's attacking kind of everywhere. I'm trying to touch my face. I got a stomach drop already. Endorphins are being dispatched, which, thank God. But it's a very deep, burning, searing sensation in the back of my throat, in my neck a tiny bit, in the front of my mouth. And it's like two different burns almost. Or maybe I'm just, one's a little bit behind the other. <sighs> wow. Um, yeah. So, the flavor is like bitter very intensely super hot peppery very um kind of artificial tasting false tasting but i don't really know why other than maybe it's just not normal to eat this <laughs> but uh, uh, already had a good eight creeping up to a nine not really creeping marching i got the sinus the snot my ears are burning like hell if I was James May, I would say buffeting. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like uh, the session one, but it's kind of hard to pick out. It's supposed to have like a numbing sensation. Ah, uh, which, you know, maybe it's merciful <laughs> to numb you. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting quiet because I'm at a nine and I'm starting to lose concentration. I'm starting to get kind of <laughs> slightly delirious. I'm not pacing yet. I'm thinking about it. I get twitchy leg. Like you get the Jimmy leg and your legs start just getting uncomfortable. <sighs> oh, Bill Moore back in the day, you could tell something was real hot because he'd get the, this thing going. I feel them. I'm getting pretty close to that. So this is like, whew, it's up there with a lot of different peppers, like fresh pods. 
I wouldn't say it's as hot as like a, well, whew. do I have another napkin? Yeah, I do. Oh, there's a drip of my snot on the table. Uh, 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 yeah, so it's, it's, it's profoundly painful. A little bit of tingly face, not a lot. Yeah, but it's a reaper thing, so it takes a bit. And there's like different depths to your experience. I'm working through the first bad wave, which is the fiery attacky wave. And this is normally the part where ah, you'd be tempted to have a drink. Oh, it's in my gums. Oh, I got some still in my teeth. Ow. Oh man, ah, that sucked. Ah, and so what was I saying? <laughs> Three thirty. So I was saying, <coughs> I'm through the the first part, the attacky Bernie part, and then there's like an eye of the storm, which isn't that I like. But I'm kind of there right now. And then this typically will have like a second crescendo of sting, like a different pain that I find to be worse. Uh, <sighs> Holy good Lord. <sighs> uh, yeah, look how peaceful. It's good to have the cats back in it. <laughs> I miss the old boys on the camera. Uh, so, I'm wondering if they put the 30 minutes in an hour because you're supposed to get through the stomach cramp too. <laughs> uh, I don't think y'all want to see an hour video of me sitting there. Maybe you do. Sorry. I don't think you're going to get it. Um, yeah. I'm not out of it. But I almost feel like it's peaked. And this was ridiculously hot. Got to be a good solid nine and a half. Yeah. I don't think it's a 10. Something could still happen. <laughs> I acknowledge that. <sighs> yeah. Endorphins are working hard. Thank you, endorphins. I appreciate you. Tempted to have a drink because I'm thirsty. Oh yeah, um, bear with me two seconds. This timer is running so you'll be able to validate that I didn't cut. See, I'm back. Obviously, I'm not feeling any better. Woo. I thought it'd be funny. Mom and Dad gave me this beer. Yeah. At a moment when I'm so desperate. Ooh, it's go. Uh. Oh, I'm getting spitty. Ah. 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 Spit and eat. This is this is close to man. This is right there at the door of ten now. Just in the, the total experience. Ah. It's not quite going away, actually. It's like stubbornly hanging around. But it's settled at like a heat level that's actually surprisingly hot. So I guess we're in this for like a while. Oh man. <laughs> well done, Pocky. It's hot as hell. I wish you didn't have to make it taste so damn bad, but oh. Oh. I apologize. I'm not usually a gross, spicy person. <sighs> but I am now. <laughs> it's funny, this cat's right here. There's my old man. Clovis is on the bed over here, you off camera. If you can see the way he's looking at me, 
He's just like, you idiot. Wow. Oh, damn. <sighs> I forget which rag is which, so I don't want to wipe my eyes with them. They're banned. Back to the good old arm. <sighs> so, my gums are numb. But only my gums. Um, ah. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> Have mercy on my chip. <sighs> I'm getting death nut mouth where you get like, uh, it's not like an old man, but I like Looney Tunes, Wiley Cody would did give him the alum, the thing of alum and his mouth would go into like a perfect pucker as like a recurring, it was on like every Looney Tune. Somebody got the alum and it went, this me is going, it's puckered up on me because my lips are numbing. Oh, wait. Oh, the clouds are breaking. Hold on. It doesn't really, though. Like, it just kind of hangs with you. Ah, and the gum area is really painful. Like, a lot. Ah. 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 Become one with the chip. Become one with the chip. 850. This thing has some staying power, bro. Uh, yeah, it's easily a 10. It's got to be. I don't think it's going to get farther than that. But it's in that it's in that world-class heat air. Because it's just, it's really devastating. <laughs> it's very, very hot. And it really hangs around in like a profound way that I didn't expect at all. Uh, I'm out of towels. I got no drink. I can't touch my face too much. And that long Oregon Trail part of the burn. Uh, you had the wagon sit on grueling. Timmy's got a broken leg. Tommy's got typhoid. You got no food. You got no bullets. No, man, you're like 50 miles from Oregon. <laughs> Let's just go. LFG, let's go. Let's go right now. Maybe we'll get there. I'm there right now. Just whipping the oxen, man. Come on, just get me to Oregon because I'm done being on the trail. <laughs> I don't want to be on the Oregon trail no more. Uh, I haven't been reduced to a babbling idiot in some time on this channel, so I hope, I hope it's entertaining. Oh, God. <laughs> this is definitely worse than the, the last one, Chip. Like... Like a significant margin, I think. <sighs> Over the 10 minute mark. Didn't that say it was something good? Oh yeah, cool. I'm the champion. What does it say? 10 minutes. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> you jerks. Ah. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> uh. So yeah, mom and dad gave me this and I thought it'd be funny to have it for the first time in a moment where I'm so desperate for a cold beer, like more than anything else almost in the world. I would love a cold sip of beer to help the pain. <sighs> oh, if somebody gives you one of these, just punch them. <laughs> just punch them in the face because they hate you. How's everything doing? Audio good, camera's good, get a little paranoid now, everything looking good. All right. Okay, so this is from a brewery called Martin House in Dallas, I believe. Oh, it says right actually in plain sight. Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. Um, that is so stupid. I can't, I'm amazed that it exists. And it's a proof that Martin House Brewing has no drug policy because somebody was high when they said, Hey, we should make a best made pickle beer. <laughs> but it was a room that was smoky. And they said, dude, yeah, we should totally do that. <laughs> and so uh, in 2020, in this strange America, we went ahead and made it. <laughs> and uh, get Johnny Five on the case. There we go. It's a little, there we go. It's better. So yeah, we got this sour pickle beer from, uh, from Martin House. And it's... Uh, 
It looks just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I love how true to the branding they were. It's just right on. Like, it looks just like a jar of pickles. They even put the pickle. Look at the pickles. And you turn it around, what do you get? You get more of the same. You get just enough label for the disclaimers. But it's, it's Texan as hell. And boy, this is just one of those weird ideas. <laughs> that I, I always like, I couldn't find this on my own, so I didn't buy it. But I would, I would buy it if I saw it. Even still, probably. Because I love stupid products so much that, like, I want to spend my money on to let people know that they should just go ahead and make stuff like this. Just so we can have it. Especially in the age of, like, being able to share stuff in the... Ooh, sorry, I hit the mic. The age of being able to share stuff on the internet. This kind of stuff is fun. Like, it's good that it exists. But, uh, 13 minutes. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to sit here and do this to you for another 17 minutes and become a middleweight uh, from Pocky standards. You know, I did what I did. I, I got in the ring. If I got knocked out, I got knocked out. You can call me what you want. <laughs> but I will say is that it has peaked and it is declining, but the endorphins are still there. It's that magic moment when you get to enjoy them for a second. And I think that I should reward myself with a glorious sip of uh, uh, Jeremy Clarkson would call a zesty drink. And this is going to be zesty. And I'm going to be the snottiest person ever to review one of these on the internet. Ugh. I should break this into its own videos so and people have no idea why I'm crying. <laughs> They're like, what, what is wrong with this guy? All right. Best made pickle beer. I don't know that my taster is going to work that well, so I'm not going to call this a review because, you know, I got more. I might give it a proper review, too. Ugh. Pickle beer. This is 2020. This is what it's come to. <laughs> Bad tasting, ridiculously painful chips and beer that tastes like a jar of pickles. Don't tell me that God doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> Cheers, God. Don't hurt us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> this is the most hilarious thing because it tastes I'm not joking like you took a swig out of a pickle jar like I'm actually amazed at like how much this tastes like pickle it doesn't taste like beer really at all and again this you know given what i just ate i don't want to call this like a review so i'm not telling you i'm not gonna make a recommendation other than to say you should buy it because it's pickle beer <laughs> don't you want to know what pickle beer tastes like for god's sake what's wrong with you live a little buy it um is it good i don't know i don't know man <laughs> i mean it's pickle <laughs> But it's sincerely salty, sincerely sour. There's a, a sparkly water company in Texas called Big Swig, and they made a, uh, I think it's called Party Pickle, but they made like a pickle sparkly water. And the thing that killed it is that it wasn't salty or vinegary. So you just got like dill aroma and cucumber aroma, but with none of the things that really make it what it is. And it kind of sucked <laughs> a lot. I didn't like it because it, it just tasted like the hollow essence of, of pickle that it sold its soul. This though, this right here is a chug out of a pickle jar. Like I, I, other than the very slight carbonation, it's not very fizzy, but it is carbonated. Well, it's not carbon. You know what I mean? It's got bubbles. Um, they didn't add carbon. It's the, you know how beer works. Um, but, uh, if it wasn't the tiniest bit fizzy, and honestly, even side by side, it would be really difficult, I think, to distinguish this from a swig of actual pickle brine. Like if the textures were the same. It really tastes a hell of a lot like pickle brine. And I question how much beer is actually in here. <laughs> is it just a jar of pickle brine? What's the ABV? They don't tell us about it. About 4.7. Okay, so, you know. It's right up there with like a course. I mean, it's, you know, it's session, session ABV, session gravity, about in the four and five range. I can't imagine having a session of best made pickle beer, to be honest with you. It's more of a, a lark than anything, but. Huh. I mean, I can't sit here and say it's bad. It's exactly what it says it is. <laughs> it says it's best made pickle beer. And I, I'll be damned if that's not precisely what's in this can. It is the most pickliest thing just about what I've ever had, up to it including pickles. It's as pickly as having a pickle.
It is very, very pickly. And then when it's cold, it just, the whole thing works. It's actually pretty good at putting the fire out too, I gotta say. I'm just gonna have to settle with my life as a lightweight. But I realize now I've been subjecting you to this a long video, man. Sorry. Um, <coughs> but to sum up, this is really damn hot. This is one of the hottest challenges I've done, I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's definitely hotter than the last one chip challenge. I didn't get to do the first one. That was before my chili head time uh, on the channel. So I don't actually know about that one. So I can't say. But this is it's hotter than a little nitro. This is every bit as hot, if not probably a little bit hotter than the death nut challenge, uh, either one. Um, the death nut's a little harder to endure because you have to eat so much content <laughs> and you have to digest it, uh, which also I'm not looking forward to, frankly, here either. Uh, but um, it's just, uh, it's just hot as hell. It's very, very, very damn hot. Um, it tastes absolutely terrible. So don't buy it because you want a chip, you know, buy uh, Pocky's other chips because they're other chips. I gotta say they're really good. Pocky knows what they're doing with the flavor. Like it's, uh, we can get rid of this now. Um, Pocky knows what they're doing. Like you should get their chips, but just don't buy this one thing. It's gonna taste good because it don't. Um, but if you do buy it, you can tell everyone you're champion and they'll think you're special. And so isn't that worth it? Especially this year. Don't you just want to be a champion with your pickle beer and your weird YouTube experience? Yeah. So long story short, absolutely. You should buy the one chip challenge and you should have a good time with it, but it tastes like butt. Um, and you should absolutely buy some pickle beer. If you happen to see it from Martin house, um, this is, you know, if you hate pickles, you're really going to hate this. Cause it's just like a pickle, but if you like pickles, holy crap, this is pickle beer. Look at that. And, uh, with that, I think I've given you the first combination one chip challenge scrutiny review and pickle beer review that will ever exist. Maybe the only one that'll ever exist in the entire universe. So thanks for joining me on this particularly odd uh, video. Click subscribe if you haven't already. We don't do this exactly all the time, but we do spicy products. We do the scrutiny. Uh, we pick them apart and look at their ingredients and talk about what they're made of and are they good and should you buy them? And uh, you know, eat peppers and other spicy products and do the same. Scrutinize the hell out of spicy things in search of chili enlightenment, which I think I found a little piece of here today um, in a weird way through the lens of pain, which is often how we get to chili enlightenment in it. But yeah, uh, click the bell. You'll be notified every time there's a new piece of content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sorry again about missing this Wednesday, but uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it happens sometimes. Uh, there'll be a new video for you. Get notified when it happens and click like. I don't know what else you want me to do here. <laughs> you should just click it. I ate the chip. I sat here. I didn't drink nothing for a long time. I, I met their, I didn't do their stupid 30 minute thing, but I, more importantly than anything else, I showed you that there's a beer made out of pickles in the world. And actually this was a couple people in the comments that suggested this at different times. Ryan, I'm pretty sure Ryan had said something about this. And I want to say, was it Steve? Steve, was it you? Or uh, Mr. C Mr. Coop 5 -0? Was it you? I can't remember. Somebody else was talking about it too. So here you go. I brought it to you. And I'll be damned. It's pickly as hell. And I don't hate it. Which I'm, I don't know. It's odd. I'm having a weird night. Uh, a good night though. And I appreciate you joining me on it. So yeah, on that note, I will let you go. So I hope you have a great Friday night. I hope the weekend is really cool to you. I hope the Dallas Cowboys stop playing like absolute hot garbage on defense. <sighs> I don't know why I had to go there. Now I'm triggered. Um, anyway, I hope you have a great weekend. And I uh, hope we just all, none of us have to watch the Dallas Cowboys game, especially not with Jason Garrett calling the plays on the other side on that defense. I don't even want to see it. I don't want to watch it. I'm going to, but I don't want to see it even for one second. It's going to be a terrible, painful experience. It's going to suck. <laughs> but that's okay. Because... The, what the Cowboys need is more people that are willing to watch them and talk and, and stick with them, even though they know they suck. <laughs> so yeah, cheers and have a great weekend. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I will catch you on next uh, experience. Thanks for watching Chili Chun, man. <laughs>